Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGL video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a deck that can get you easy free wins on the ladder, and this is going to be a Pyroar deck. So Pyroar himself. This card is kind of underrated because of the ability Intimidating Main, where this Pokemon cannot be damaged by attacks from your opponent's basic Pokemon. And right now, there is a lot of basic decks. All the big tag team decks, uh, stuff like Night March, will also be using nothing but basics. Alternate Krosma is also basic, so there are some decks that have no way to deal with Pyro. There is not a single card in the deck that can beat this card, and that is what this deck aims to do. It aims to just hunt down all basic decks and win games, and in Expanded, there are quite a few decks that will suit this deck, and uh, will just be like, okay, I flip over to Litleo, I evolve into Pyro, and now I win the game. So before we get the video, of course, shout out to our punch card, Kevin TCG, guys, as always, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO pack codes or any codes from PDCGO. If you're still looking for Cosmic Eclipse codes, Unified Minds codes, or Broken Bonds codes, get them over at Carcav and TCG, and of course they have all the other PDCGO codes you hope you're looking for, like any Trainer Kit codes or any certain GX codes like the Evolution codes or Reshizard codes, uh, Mew3 codes, any PDCGO codes you're ever looking for, get them over at Carcav and TCG. And if you get anything from there, make sure to use my discount code code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. Support the channel, help yourself out, and also help out Card Cavern TCG. So shout out to our sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Now let's look at the deck. So this is the list that I've gone with. I have seen a few different versions of this Pyro deck. Um, and this is the one that I've just been fine with. I just like playing it just kind of by itself. Um, we also can use Pyro Break, which makes the card even stronger. I am playing one copy of Reshizard, mainly just here as a backup attacker. There are actually going to be a few amount of times where this card actually gets to be useful. Uh, obviously in matchups where the opponent will have evolutions, you can use Zarda as your backup attacker and uh, use Pyro for later. But again, the whole purpose of this deck is you're just trying to find decks that have nothing but basics and you're just basically trying to just force them to concede because they have no way to deal with your Pyro, so they just concede the game and then you just win. So it's a nice ladder grinding deck. Uh, now there are some decks that can beat you. Uh, some examples obviously can be Zoark decks. You can't really beat those. Even with the Zard, the Zoark matchup is still pretty difficult. Uh, alternate Krosma with Garboder might be kind of tough. We do play two Fabas alongside two Field Blowers to kind of compensate for that matchup where we can just get rid of their Float Stones on their Trubbishes. Um, uh, what else would be bad? I got like Dark Box too. A lot of Dark Box decks are going to be playing Weavile now. So if they play Weavile, you're also kind of screwed because they can use Weavile against you. But again, if you get lucky, you can knock out the Sneasels early on before they become Weaviles. So there are some compensations to the Weavile. So yeah, there might be some decks that can beat you. But other than that, there's some decks you can just beat. Like Alternate Cross with Muck and Silent Lab with no Garboder, easy win. Um, there's just decks that this deck can beat because the deck will have no way to deal with Pyroar. So uh, let's look at the rest of the deck here. I'm playing a Battle Compressor. You can Battle Compressor away stuff to go Blacksmith. I'm not playing Welder in this deck. I'm actually just decided to go to Blacksmith instead of Welder. Blacksmith is a little bit better because you can actually use Blacksmith with Pyroar. You can put the two fires onto your Pyroar from the discard pile because you will have to discard energy with Scorching Fang. Though there are going to be times where you actually don't even want to attack with Pyroar. Um, we got one computer search, one escape rope. I just like having the free escape rope cards. It's actually really useful in this deck to sometimes move stuff out of the active. If you have accidentally ever start with Lele or the Reshizard, you can escape rope them out. But we do have a way to get rid of them. I got two blowers, of course, for Garboder. One Evo Soda to go into Pyroar. Three Nest Ball to get your Litleos down. One Rescue Stretcher to shuffle stuff back. Four Ultra Balls, search your deck. Four VS Seekers, pretty standard stuff. Uh, I am playing a Heat Factory alongside a Shrine of Punishment. Fine with that. Uh, now, I am playing one copy of AZ. Now, the reason for AZ is obviously so that you can scoop up your uh, Pokemon like your Reshizard or your Lele. If they're ever in play and your opponent can knock them out to take a few prizes, you can just AZ them off the board and then they have literally no way to gust around Pyroar and then there's nothing they can do about it. That's why the AZ is in the deck. It's kind of an experiment. Um, now, the Shrine can go hand-in-hand -hand with Zard too. Since Zard is an attacker, you can go Choice Band uh, for 260, drop a Shrine down, and then you can do 270, so you can take out other big 270 HP threats. That's one of the other reasons why the Shrine's in here. Um, I got Blacksmith, two Cynthia, two Faba, one Guzma. Now, two Faba might be a little overkill, uh, but I really like having the ability just to get rid of um, Float Stones on Garboders. I actually think just playing two Faba is just fine. Uh, you could get it down to one, though. I got two Junipers, two Ends, one Maulana. The reason for Maulana is because if you do attack with Pyro Break, you damage yourself, you can Maulana, switch it out. You can also use this with Charizard. Um, to like try to heal it a little bit to make it a little more tankier in matchups where you need to use Charizard like against evolution heavy decks. Um, I got a Lysander and a Guzma. You got to play Lysander if you're going to play Pyro because it's kind of his Pokemon. 
but Lysander and Guzma both can be useful to knock stuff out. That might evolve. And uh, we got two choice band. I am playing burn energy. I got two of them. If you discard burn energy with Scorching Fang, you get the burn energy right back on your pyro. So it's a really cool combo. I got two DCs and I am playing at seven fire energy. That's pretty much about it for my Pyro list here. I do like this deck quite a bit. I think Pyro is pretty good. I don't know how good this list is. I know there are some things you can change about it. Feel free to tweak this deck. But this is the list that I have built. I like it. It gets me free wins. It's a good ladder grinding deck. So let's go try it out. All right, guys. Let's go try out the Pyro deck. Once again, guys, we run into evolution or evolution decks. We cry. But if we run into basic decks, we win. And it looks like we might be up against Night March here, which is one of those matchups that you auto win because of the fact they can't deal with Pyroar. We do go first, which is good too. We just have to hope we don't get a terrible start and we can win. And there's a mulligan on our side. We'll have to see here if this is a Night March deck or not. It probably is. If it is Night March, like they have no answer. Like they're obviously not playing anything like Litwick to evolve their Lampent. So they shouldn't have a single answer to Pyroar. And we just swing the Pyroar in the active spot and they cry. But we always oh, we start with Zard though. And we got a bad hand. That's like the perfect start we could ask for. To be fair, even if they knock out the Zard, they're not going to win the game because they cannot deal with Pyroar. They did mulligan. Oh, okay. Okay, there's an Evo Soda, which is all we need. We can probably just get Ditto to bait the Pyroar. They might just knock out Pyroar here. So if we get Ditto, they might not see it coming. But I don't know if Evo Soda... No, Evo Soda doesn't work with Ditto. That's annoying. Uh, we'll play the Ditto then. Or the, the Litleo, sorry. We'll just hope for the best. They have such a big hand. They're probably going to knock out the Litleo here. We'll have to see. We do have a stretcher, though. We actually did prize a few Litleos, too, which is not ideal. It's the one thing this deck can lose, too, is just bad starts. And uh, this is one of the examples. But this is a matchup we can literally auto-win. They have, like, no answer to Pyro, most likely. So this matchup should be a cakewalk. We just need to get a Pyro in play. If we get Pyro in play, we should win the game. Like, they shouldn't have a single answer to Pyro. So hopefully we can get into play. All we have to do is just hope Lilio doesn't get knocked out here. But the problem is it's such a big target. They do get rid of a Lily and a Sycamore. If they just have to dig here, maybe they don't have the knockout with the Lysander slash Guzma play. That's the best thing I can hope for. Let's see. They parallel me. That's fine. They're going to make me have three bench Pokemon. Okay, nice. So that means we should be able to win here because Guzma, or sorry, they're going to Sycamore, and that means they cannot do a Gust Effect unless they play Pokemon Catcher or Escape Rope. We should be good. They do lose a Vias, two Vias Seekers. Now, I'm actually scared they play Escape Rope. If they rope me here, I'm going to cry. If they rope this, just going to be great. Uh, we can maybe goose with them next turn and try trap around guru hope they don't have an energy or a float they could knock out zard this turn but i highly doubt that's going to happen they'd have to hit me really really hard but as long as they don't knock out lilia we should be good i am scared of an escape rope because i have a bad feeling they play it and they're gonna find it here like i just have a really bad feeling they're gonna hit an escape rope they're going to Dazzle Machine again. They do lose a Guzma, which is good, I guess. If they do somehow knock me out. I guess that's one less Guzma out. They're going to get an Ultra Ball. So they're probably just building up Night March damage. But again, as long as they don't play any evolutions, we should win the game by just Pyroar being Pyroar. And this is how you get free wins, pretty much. Play Pyroar. They're really digging. That makes me feel like they do have the Escape Road because they're going for Dead A Change. That... Makes me feel they do play the escape rope because why would they be digging this hard? Okay, never, never mind. We're good. They're just gonna hit me for 90 damage. See, we draw here. We drew an N. Beautiful. That will help us out in the coming turns. But we're just gonna get the Pyro in play. And uh, we're just gonna Guzma something here. I think we're just gonna Guzma the Oranguru in the active spot. They probably have a Via Seeker for Guzma, but I don't really care if Zar gets knocked out. If it does whoop they do, we can always. Try to find AZ if it's going to stick around on the bench for a few turns. But now my opponent probably has no way to beat me. Like, there's nothing they can do about Pyro. It's not a basic, so Silent Lab will never shut me off. So, I don't see how we're going to lose. Like, yeah. 
unless they do some crazy Nagandel Stinger play, but we're not going to take any prizes either, so that on the off chance they do play some weird way to counter Pyroar, that option is not going to be available to them. So we're just not going to bench anything either, and we should be good. And then Pyroar is just invulnerable here. Yeah, they're going to get Guzma. They can knock out the Zard, but that's not going to win them the game. Knocking out Zard will not win them the game, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to hit me for 60. Let's see, we draw here. We do a Shrine. Don't need that. I think we just end them. We could have uh, done another Guzma, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, no, we got Escape Rope. Who needs Guzma when you have Escape Rope? We can just keep moving this guy safely out of the active spot. And again, we don't really need to attack here with Pyro, but well, I think we'll touch energy anyways, just to just to be ready. Just in case. You never know. Something might happen. They only have three Pokemon in the discard pile, too, for Night March. That's actually kind of weird. So yeah. I think we're good here. And we're gonna be able to beat them. They're probably gonna deck out before we do, so we have that going for us too. So this should be pretty good for us. They do have those secret ultra balls, but despite the bling, that will not save them from winning the game. Like, I don't think they have any basics that they could use with Shadow Hunt. So like, yeah, I think we're good. Like, they just kind of have to accept our mercy. But once again, guys, if you're trying to get free wins and you are tired of playing against Night March, Play some good old Pyroar, and you'll have a blast. Yeah, they're gonna knock me out, but yeah, that's fine. They'll take three prizes. What's even in their prizes? Nothing really that important. Let's see what they take. They could take the stretcher, which they do. But it doesn't really matter. Just bring in the Pyroar. And we pass. Because it doesn't matter what happens here. And if we don't take any prizes, then my opponent just might have literally no outs to beating me. Because they can't bench anything, so. We're just not going to risk it. Could bench another Pyro. We don't want to anymore. Even though I'm pretty sure they might be out of Guzma options. Because they played a lot of VF Seekers. But yeah, Pyro should win us here. My opponent just needs to concede the game. Because they, once again, probably have no way to deal with Pyro. And I could play the passing game all day if I wanted to. Yeah, they're out of Via Seekers. So they're going to deck out first. So it's just a matter of my opponent conceding first. Because there's no way we're going to lose this. I'll, I keep doing this all day, man. I keep doing this all day. You have no way to beat me. You have no way to beat me. Like he probably has like Cynthia and stuff, but like it doesn't matter. He's gonna run out of cards before I do. Because he has way less cards in the deck thanks to all those battle compressors and did NA and shame and things he did. So he's got like no cards in the deck. Maybe to be safe, I should try to get two Pyros in play, but I don't think that's worth it. Like I just don't think there's, there's nothing he can do. Like unless he plays Gorgeist, <laughs> but obviously he doesn't. So I don't know why he hasn't conceded yet. We're not gonna play the Pyro Breakdown either just because he could play Giratina. But once again, it doesn't matter. I'm not just gonna risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to keep passing until my opponent eventually concedes the game. Because we will win first. We have we should have Cynthia's in the deck. But I think we can still beat him with N too. Because, again, he has nothing he can do. He can stretch her to buy three more turns. That's like one option he has. But yeah, we just patiently wait for him to concede the game. We could also fab him out of the game too. Make him just not be able to do anything with all his DCs. But again, the best thing for us to do is just keep passing. Because he has no way to win. Now, I could be toxic and I could emote him here and spam well played or you have a good deck. But no, I'm not going to be toxic. I'm just going to keep passing the turn and just be like, well, you got to concede eventually, my guy. You're, you're Like, it's impossible for you to win. Unless you play something insane. But like, the fact that he's used up all his via Seekers, there's no supporter that can save him at this point. Like Brock's Grid or Lusami, or not Lusami, sorry, Karen I was thinking of. But he wouldn't obviously play that, so yeah, there's like nothing in his deck that can save him. He just loses. But yeah, this is how you get free wins with Pyro, guys. You just uh, do that. And there's our first Cynthia. So that's all we need is just one Cynthia, and it's like impossible to deck out. 
I, I don't know why he hasn't conceded yet. Like, how, I, there's no way he can win. <laughs> like, he's burned through, like, most of his deck. There's nothing he can do to attack me. He's got way less cards than I do. He probably might not even have any way to shuffle his hand back in his deck. I don't know why he hasn't conceded the game yet. I really don't. But hey, you know what? I'll take, once again, free win. That's just pretty much what this deck's trying to do. It's trying to get these free wins. And this is an example of a free win with the Pyro deck. And that's game. See, free wins, guys. Free wins all around with the Pyro. That is why it is a good ladder grinding deck right now, because some decks have no answer to Pyro, and that's an example of one of those decks. Okay, guys, continuing on with our matches with the Pyro deck, and uh, once again, just hunt down those little old big basic decks and just try to snake some free wins. Now, we might run into a few decks with using Garboder. Obviously, Alternate Krozma comes to mind when you think of a deck that would play Garboder. Zorogarb's a thing, but like Zorogarb is already like impossible to beat almost again we're just really trying to just find basic decks we're not really in the ballpark of running into decks that have evolutions but let's see um okay this might be another night march deck to be honest with you uh it might be adp march which if it is it's fine because they shouldn't have an answer to me we do lose the coin flip so they make me go first we'll know they're playing night march because they would want to go second to pull, pull off like a turn one attack. So we'll see if they make me go first. They don't. Hmm. They could be playing an alternate Krozma deck too. No, we mulligan revealing we are indeed playing Pyro. We don't play that many basics though. So I'm not too surprised. And we do start with a lone Lilio. We, our hand is kind of bad too. We have at least another Lilio we can get. And all right, they're playing a deck that looks like it's Reshiram actually. Hmm, they could play Naganadel, though. That could be a problem. There's some decks that might have answers to you, but again, there's some decks that don't have answers to you. It's 50-50. I hope we're not playing against a deck that has an answer to Pyro. Okay, they start with a Farfetch'd of all cards, and it is going to be a Rushy Rom deck. You do get a turn one Welder off. Farfetch can't damage me, though, so it's all good. They actually welder to the far fetched, which is interesting. They can't really do much with it though. Again, okay, we just gotta hope they don't play any poiples. Gotta hope they're playing the ho -Oh build. Alright, let's see if we draw. Okay, there we go. We can get Pyro or we can get Tapu Lele, which is not in the deck, so we're gonna have to get Pyro with it. Right, we're just gonna DC the Bench Litleo. And we're just gonna have to pass for now. We can't really do much. Unfortunately, this hand kind of sucks. We can do Faba next turn, though, if something does come up. Like Heat Factory. Which I guess, like, we don't really need a Fab away anyways, but we might as well just to slow them down. Let's see. We should live here. They do play an Olivia, which gets them two more basics. If they fill their bench up with all basics, then I think we can win. Unless they play Skyfield. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, if they bench one more basic here, we should win the game. I was gonna do a collect. Alright, let's see we draw. Burning energy? Okay. That's actually- Okay, no, we can play that. What am I saying? Uh, okay, we do get a shrine. We do get an escape rope, too. How do I want to play this out? We're gonna ultra ball away a blacksmith. Probably the faba. So I don't even think I want to use it because I actually think we should take advantage of this heat factory because our hand is just not very good. And this can help us maybe dig for like outs to find Lysander. So I am worried my opponent could easily bench a uh, a Litlia or a Poipol and then we could just bring it up with Pyro and knock it out. So we'll just play the escape rope. Litlio can still get knocked out but it doesn't matter. As long as he has no way to damage Pyro for now, we should be good. I gotta hope he's playing a whole build, but it's not looking very likely, unfortunately, but we'll have to see. Just go for Scorching Fang. Could do 90. I think we'll just poke for 60 for now. We don't really need the extra damage, especially if like he does bunch of Lilio or something and we draw up Lysander. We can just Lysander up the point pull, knock it out with Scorching Fang. So we'll just chill for now. We don't really need to do the extra damage. Again, it's not about us doing damage. It's just us about... It's about us basically just making it so he has no way to deal with Pyro. 
But I am scared of a, uh, a Poipal coming down. But we'll have to see if he even plays that. He had Psychic in his deck, and that's what kind of tips me off here. So he's got to be a little weary. Weary, whatever. I don't even know how to pronounce that. See what he does. He's building up his bench, so I think he's giving up on the whole building up the active type of thing. Lilio could get knocked out soon, too. So we do want to get another Pyro in play at some point, just so that this guy doesn't get knocked out. There's a tag call. Okay, he could get ADP. No, he's going to get nothing. He just passes. What do we draw? Finally, we drew something that can help us. Nice. We could actually bump the stadium, too, and get a shrine in play. Doesn't really seem like a bad idea. But I do want to take advantage of that heat factory. But uh, I'm going to get rid of it. We have our own heat factory if we ever need to use it. Plus, we can slow him down and we can just end him. Okay, we get a choice band. We do get another Pyro. There's a Guzma too. Okay, we're actually going to hold this hand then. Because we have all Pyro, we do lose the option to just straight up Guzma here. So we can control what he benches. We can control what he benches. So if he does bench a Poiple or some Pokemon that evolves, we're going to Guzma that up, retreat, and knock it out with Pyro. That's going to be our goal. Double Dragon Energy going on the Reshi Rom. He retreats into it, okay. And yeah, he's gonna knock out my poor Lilio then, that is fine. Lilio did its job. We do probably need to get another Pyro in play though at some point. We can probably just sit on this hand though, we're not really doing much with it, so we can probably just keep passing the turn. Or no, to keep, to keep attacking, but we can probably just chill with what we got. We could knock out this guy too, right? No, okay, we can wait a few turns to do that. We're chilling. I mean, we can knock it out and discard the energy, obviously, but. I don't think we need to right now. I think we're fine. There's a stretcher. We can get back the Litleo, which we might as well do. Because again, we probably do want to try to at least get another Pyro in play at some point. We probably will need it. I could have Juniper there because I have a Seeker, but we're just going to keep attacking him. We're going to sit on this hand. It, like, this is a fine hand. We'll wait a turn to see what happens. Maybe I'll Juniper next turn. There's a Battle Comp, so we'll finally see if he's playing the Ho-Oh build of this Reshiram deck. He isn't. He does get rid of a Poipo, though. So my suspicions were correct. He does indeed play Naganadel, and he does Stretcher for it, which is kind of what I expect him to do. To be fair, though, these things are so heavily damaged, we can knock them out. If he only gets one Poipo in play, we are going to Guzma that out and bring it out. Naganadel can't even really knock out Pyro anyway, so it's actually pretty good. Let's see if he has another Lysander here. Looks like he's just going to Tool Buster me. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active. Okay, whatever. We have another choice banner in our hand. So we are going to knock out this Poipal here. We just get rid of the two Blowers. they kind of not really doing anything. And we'll get Pyroar. We're not going to play it down just yet, though. We are going to go Guzma first on the Poipal. Get there for a treat ability. And we are going to go into Pyroar. We're going to evolve into Pyroar. We're going to knock him out with Scorching Fang. And then we just need to get Burn Energy off this Juniper next turn. And knock out this Poipal, prevent him from going to Ganadel, and we'll take our prize. Tapu Lele, okay, we can discard that. Unless he captivating Poke Puffs me, that would be a problem. But now we should be in a good spot. And again, Ganadel can't really deal with Pyro that well anyways. It's only doing 80 damage. He has to get a Beast Energy, but if we can get Pyro Break and Play, then he can't even one-shot me. He did get another Poipal down. Rip. Plus, he has to build up Nagando kind of slowly. And plus, with these two heavily damaged as it is, like, it shouldn't even be that hard to just gust them up eventually. Yeah, I don't really see if we can lose at this point. All right, let's see if we draw. Now, Litleo. Might as well bench it. Mm, why not? We'll choice being the active. Try to get an energy here to knock out this Farfetch'd. We do get one. We do get Pyro Break 2, uh, which I think I'm going to evolve into. We could bench the Ditto, too, and get, like, a Quad Pyro set up, which never would hurt anyone. And we'll Scorching Fang knock out this stupid Farfetch'd. <laughs> we'll take our prize. What's it going to be? It's via Seeker. Nice. So we can keep Guzman here. If we can draw an energy, we can keep bringing out the Poiple. Or we can Guzman knock out one of these guys or knock this out. He actually brings in the Reshi Rom, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if his plan is to do Guzman or Lysander here. There goes Shrine. Shrine did a good job, though. It put in a lot of work. There's another Nest Ball. He could get a second Poipal here. Which, no, he gets another Farfetch'd. So it's kind of evident that he's not really playing the most competitive deck on the planet. 
And he is building up the Naganadel. Again, it's not really that big of a threat, though. Because we can knock out these two guys to win the game. Yeah, but he is going to Lysander me. Brings in the Ditto. I actually don't think he has a way to knock me out, though. Because he attached. Yeah, he doesn't. And we drew an energy. Oh my gosh, that's pretty busted. And we're just going to get Quad Pyro in play. Because, you know, why not? And we can be a Seeker. Bring this out. Knock that out. Or we can bring in the Naganadel now. I think our goal really is just win the game by knocking these two things out. So we're just going to take our three prizes. We do have to discard the energy, which I was hoping we wouldn't have to do. I guess we can knock out the Nagandel anyways by just going Kazer Tackle with Blacksmith. I think we have Blacksmith and Discard Pal. He has one card in his hand. I am not expecting to get end here, so that's why I don't really care too much. We do get another Lilio, which is good. So we can actually draw an energy. We can win by just going Lilio Guzma. Let's see. So you can you can hit me with turning point for 80. And then we can knock him out with Kaiser Tackle. Or Kaiser Tackle. Whatever you want to call it. Hmm. He could knock me out his turning point turn, but he isn't quite there. There's Lysander. Okay, so we don't have game just yet. So we'll take, what, 50 damage here. We'll have 30 HP left. Still not going to get knocked out. And then we can just win anyways with the Lysander. So we'll just go Blacksmith here. Two energy on Pyroar. Kazer Tackle. We're taking a bit of damage, but not too much. Oh yeah, we win the game. What am I saying? I forgot we had one prize left because we knocked out the Nagandal earlier. Rip. I didn't even see that play coming. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. Even when they have a few evolutions, Pyroar can still do its thing. And it can still win games. Uh, if we didn't play that Heat Factory down, I actually feel like we might have been in a bit of a worse position. Because um, that Heat Factory did help us out a little bit. We can open up a Lost Thunder pack here, which we might as well do. We'll see what we can get out of it. Hoping to maybe pull a Full Art Placephalon, a Full Art Zeraora, Secret Rare Custom Catcher would be really good too. Let's see. Considering just pulled backpacks, yeah, I was going to say. I pulled backpack great catchers last time. I'm not expecting to get too much. But that's another win with the deck, so we'll do another game, I guess. All right, guys, let's go try out the deck one more time here and see if we can run into another basic deck, like those last two games that we got against Nightmark and Freshy Rom. And the Pokemon expert here playing a deck with a lot of different types. So we'll have to see what this deck is. We'll go for Tails. We do go first, which is important. Oh, we don't mulligan. I don't want to reveal we're playing Pyro, but it probably doesn't matter really at the end of the day. And all right, not a bad hand. I actually think I'm going to hold it, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to hold the hand. We got a Pyro already. We have a DCE. We can get a Litleon play. So I have to see here what my opponent is playing. We start with a Volcanion. Okay. So here's the moment of truth. Will they be playing an old basic deck? We'll DC the Litleo on the bench and pass. The reason I'm doing it on the bench is because we could get knocked out in the active and then I lose my DC. So it's better to build up the bench Litleo. So they're playing a Volcanian deck, it looks like. And again, I don't know if they would have any evolutions. We'll have to see. They could play their own Pyroar. They could also be playing something like Salazzle, GX maybe. There's stuff we have to watch out for there. They're actually just going to key all the way to the Volcanian. Okay. That means we can't move the Lilio. Because I was hoping they would bench a GX, but they can do Kiawe all they want. We put the Pyro in play, they have no way to deal with it. Alright, let's see. Drew a Faba. We'll just evolve into Pyro. An Ultra Ball here too. Get another Pyro in play, which I think I will do. Uh, sorry, Pyro Break. Yeah, he concedes. See? See? <laughs> it's free wind, man. Look at that. Just free wins. Let's see if he had any evolutions. Nope! He had no way to deal with Pyroar. That is why this Pyroar deck is OP. My opponent had nothing he could do. He just couldn't do anything in that. <laughs> it's just free wins, man. <laughs> look, look at that. It's just free, free wins on the ladder. All right, let's see what we run into next here. See if we can get back-to-back -back all basic decks. Again, you'll run into some decks that have outs to Pyroar. But um, you'll run into decks like that where they have no way to deal with Pyroar. Let's see. Okay, Giuseppe here is playing a deck that has Fire and Dragon. This could be, um, could be another Reshiram deck. We do go first too, which is good. 
What are we looking at here? Another Litleo start, which is pretty lit, I would say so. Again, I might hold the hand. I don't... I mean, we have the Pyro. I don't really see a need to do Juniper. I don't want to get risk getting donked, though. It's my only problem. Let's see what they're playing. Let's start with a Charizard. Hmm. Then I feel pretty safe with using Litleo. I think I'm going to go to the Juniper, though, just to get another Litleo in play. It's fine to lose one Pyro. It's not the end of the world. And oof, we didn't get a single basic. Hmm. Again, though, I don't think this thing can knock me out. He can welder to it, but that's not going to do any damage. So we should be safe. Oh, he could lost purge me out of the game. He puts a dark energy on? Oh no, guys, we ran into a deck that doesn't seem to be very good, in my opinion. Looks like we ran into a deck that doesn't really seem to be super competitive. Gets rid of... Yeah, he does play Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard can attack me. Not anymore. It's gone now. This Lugia is actually scary. We need to get two Lilios in play because he could Lost Purge me. Because I'm pretty sure he can do Lost Purge on my Pyro. Pyro prevents damage. It doesn't prevent effects. So that Lugia technically can go through Pyro. So we need to get another Lilio in play ASAP. Hmm, I don't even want to put energy on it. Because if I, if I do energy, that's two energy that goes in the Lost Zone and not the discard pile. The Zard itself, um, the Mega Charizard could be scary. He gets a Break Zard, though. Okay, let's see. If he hits us on Stoke here, that could be pretty scary. And he does? Are you kidding me? So he's going to build this thing up. If he has a Spearling and a Zard in his hand, that's going to be really, really bad. So we got to hope he doesn't have it. From the Burn Energy. I mean, we could just bring in this Break Zard. I'm tempted to do that. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to just keep digging here and keep trying to find Litleos. I think that's more important than just Goose making this up. Okay, we definitely hit more Litleos. We didn't get any, um... Fortunately, we didn't get anything else really that important. We do have a few Gusts. We can probably just Lysander the Lugia out next turn and maybe start attacking it. We gotta hope he doesn't knock me out here with, like, a Mega Charizard. I'm a little scared of that, not gonna lie. If we can get into a better hand, we could go knock him out with Pyro Break, however. With, like, a Choice Band or something. Okay, he does have the Mega Charizard. It's a little worrying. I think we're gonna have to Lysander the Break Zard up. Pray for the best. This Pokemon have no weakness. We're gonna have to kind of stall him out a little bit here. We need to buy some time. Our hand is pretty bad. This thing could body me. But if we get a power break in play and like a choice band, we can knock this thing out. That's kind of why I uh, was like, okay, there's the choice band. So now we just need a power break. I think we'll hold the Faba in case we have to, in case we have to do anything else. I'll probably just keep attacking. I'm not going to knock him out next turn for obvious reasons. And before he draws a switch. If we get knocked out here, this is going to be pretty bad. We can keep trying to bring stuff up, though, to stall them. Hopefully we can draw an Ultra Ball here. If we can get an Ultra Ball, we can knock this thing out. Oh, he goes for a Kiawe. Hmm, that means he can retreat. So we got to hope we get Pyro Break. Oh, no, wait, he's bringing up Lugia. Why are you building up Lugia? Okay. We're not going to knock him out, so that's fine. Can keep passing dang it dude we really need to get a pyro break if we draw power break we can knock out this this thing and we'll be back to square one well i guess we need to get another pyro because then he can go for the lugia's lost purge he did get a cynthia no he's gonna get a switch here isn't he like he doesn't seem to be playing that great of a deck i knew he would get the switch he goes with lugia though for some reason oh okay that's good and nice we do get the knockout here Whew. That was scary. He didn't do Lost Purge. Hopefully he doesn't do Lost... He could, but I guess he could. We're getting three prizes here, though, so hopefully we get something good off the prizes. That's if he goes for Lost Purge. He might not realize he can Lost Purge me here, but we'll see. Or maybe Lost Purge doesn't work. I'm pretty sure it does, though. And there's an... Okay, there's a Pyro. We can go back to square one. 
Well, yeah, we're only taking two. Why would I think we we're taking three prizes? We can actually get Lele too, which I'm very much tempted to do since he hasn't taken any prizes. He brings in the Zard for some reason. Okay. Hmm. We could do another knockout here if we really wanted to. Never mind. No, we don't have any more like Gustings in the deck. Looks like he's going to go for a Crimson Pillar, which means we don't have to worry about Lost Purge. So I think this does confuse me because Pyro specifically stage prevent all damage. Doesn't prevent effects. But that's fine though. I think we will just go Lele here. Uh, I might bench this to be honest with you. I don't really see anything. There's nothing really threatening it. Oh, guess, I guess it doesn't work. Oh, interesting. Okay, good discard bait. Hopefully Lele's in the deck. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. There's nothing really threatening these two uh, things I'm going to bench, so it's not really a big deal, I don't think, to bench them. Uh, we don't have a Juniper. We'll just have to get Cynthia then for now, which is fine. We just need to get more Pyros going. If we get more Gusts, too. That'd be good. We actually will get a Knockout here, too, if we want. There's a Pyro. Nice. We actually sh do have game next turn, because this thing has 10... The Lugia has 10 damage on it. So if we do get knocked out here, we actually do win regardless by just Lysarian up that Lugia unless he ends me to one. Let's see what our prizes are. Battle Compressor. We can do that with Blacksmith maybe and build up Zarb. There's another Choice Band. So let's see if we get end to one here. He hasn't played a single end yet, so hopefully he doesn't end me to one. And just a Mega Charizard and a pass. All right, that will indeed be game then. That will indeed be game. Okay, don't know why I'm slow rolling, to be honest. We're just going to go Versus Seeker. We're going to Lysander up that Lugia. And we are going to win the game here. And that is the deck for you guys. My opponent definitely could have done a lot more different things there to win the game. I think Lost Purge would have worked. I guess it didn't because when he used Crimson Pillar... Or did he... I don't know. Maybe maybe Crimson Pillar just wouldn't work. I don't really know what kind of happened there. But I'll wrap the day's feature video, guys, on the Pyro deck. Once again, I think I showed off the deck pretty well in how it can win easy on the ladder. It's just, like, your opponent has no way to deal with it. And even if they have, like, a few things that can deal with Pyro, you try to take them out before they become an issue. And even once you take them all out, how are they going to get through all the rest of the Pyro? So, like, you can kind of see why this deck is kind of cool and uh, kind of works, in my opinion. But that'll wrap the day's feature video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below to help me the road to reaching 7 thousand subs the sub growth has been pretty impressive recently on the channel so i gotta thank you guys a lot for the sub growth and everything and the support on the channel recently uh check out sponsor card and tcg down below too follow me on twitter we're like two, three two followers off of 200 i'll see you guys on the video bye bye